Um, oops. <laughs> that was dangerous. I, I picked flint and steel instead of carrot and nearly set my tongue on fire trying to eat it. Uh, let's mine away a bit of this obsidian here. Yeah. Right, so there's a pool of lava underneath this obsidian crust. Like so many pigeons inside a pie, and I've just got to scoop it out and uh, serve it to my citizens, I guess. I don't know, no, serve it to my smelter to uh, melt down all my aluminium. Right, uh, I hate how long it takes to mine this obsidian. Come on, up. Oh. And there we go, just burned. You'd think obsidian would be kind of lava proof because it's made of lava. It doesn't burn itself to death. If anything, touching lava should make it into even harder obsidian, like super obsidian. Or actually melt it into another block of lava and expand the um, lava pool or something. That's an idea there for the next Minecraft patch notch if you're watching this. I don't think you will be, but <laughs> I, I can live in hope. Um, yeah, you should do that. You should be able to, if you throw obsidian into lava, it should make the lava bigger. Anyway, I'll just run back with uh, this, back to the blacksmiths. This is probably really dangerous, actually, running around with a big bucket of lava held in front of your face. Imagine tripping. Actually, imagine carrying lava in a bucket to begin with. It would just melt out the bottom and burn your toes off. I bet anyone who ever tried to carry lava in a bucket is probably, I don't know, at least on crutches now. Or possibly in a wheelchair. More likely dead, I'd say. But, you know, if they survived it. Um, I wonder how many people you see walking around on crutches who were who received their injury by trying to carry around a bucket of lava. I'd say it's more than you'd think, because it's a fairly embarrassing way to injure yourself. I don't think they'd own up to it. I think it's one of those secret shames that ha goes on much more than you think it does. You know, like money laundering and stuff like that, and uh, not paying your television license, all of these little crimes, you know, the, the shame crimes, that if you found out about it, your family would disown you. Of course, most of the viewers probably don't know what a television license is if you're, like, American or Canadian or just from generally countries that aren't Ireland or Britain or anywhere in that area. But, um, yeah, basically you have to have a license to own a television or anything that receives a television signal and your fee for it goes, paying to goes towards paying for channels which uh, will flood the airwaves with... I don't know, really crappy reality shows about um, people with tragic backgrounds entering singing contests. It's just really annoying. Okay, I'm going to have to knock down these floating bits, or burn them down, because they're annoying me. I'm surprised the fire didn't spread further, actually. Uh, maybe I should start it up here. And it'll burn down. Although fire burns up. Not many people know that. But um, fire actually won't burn down. It'll burn up. So if you're in a fire, in a big forest fire, you're meant to go into valleys rather than up hills. Because if you go up hills, you're going to get cornered and set on fire. Is my aluminium ready yet? Excuse me, is my aluminium ready? Not quite. Okay. Still got a bit of lava going anyway. I hope I have a bit of lava going because... The Tinker's Construct smeltery is a little bit buggy as well, and sometimes the lava meter thing uh, doesn't update properly. So it'll look like you've got a full load of lava and it's actually empty, or it'll look completely empty and it's completely full. Okay, so I've got some aluminium. Ten ingots worth. Okay, I only need three. And I've got room in my inventory. I don't have enough wool yet. Ugh, I'm going to need to take some iron as well, I guess. Make myself some shears, go after the sheep. That kind of thing. Um, right. Okay, I've got enough for a little bit of wool. Uh, let's get rid of my dirt. 
and I'm going to get some iron. Two ingots of iron. I could actually get a block of it instead. That might be handier. It'll be quicker. Look, I can fill up this big tank and it'll come out as a huge cube of iron that I can use to whack people over the head with or whatever I want. Because I'm town administrator and I can do that. Oh, it's getting dark again. Where does the time go? I've been here for like three days now uh, working on this power plant and I've literally just got a field full of cobblestone. That's worse than what I began with. I, I began with a thermopile at least, but that's gone. Oh no, wait, I have got my coal generators. So that's something. That's a little bit of progress. Um, this is very slow going though. Okay, where are the sheep? Where are all the sheep gone? I bet Shelbyville took them. Look, they're not around here. There were loads earlier. Oh, there's one. Come here, you. Get over here. I wonder, can I share a cat? Come back. I want to be your friend. I just want to shave you. And use your skin to coat wires. No, he won't. He won't be shaved. He'll have none of it. Okay, how much do I have? I have five. I only need one more wool. Oh, I know where there's wool. I know. Shelbyville. <clears throat> Time for another raid. Can I shave a chicken? No. Imagine shaving a chicken. That would be really weird. Because I imagine a shaved chicken and a cooked chicken look very similar. So can you imagine a chicken running around like alive but looking like a cooked chicken? That would just be terrifying. Did their uh, torches grow back there? I was fairly sure I robbed those. Okay, I'm taking this wool block. Um, they can't really do anything to stop me. I don't need that gunpowder. I've done all my exploding for one day. So let's get this back to town and get to work on those wires. A little pig there, squatting in a, in a ditch, whispering rumours about me. No class. None at all. Come here, sheepicle. Give me your wool. Okay, now I've got too much wool. I've got six white wool and a black wool. So that's a bit annoying because either way I'm going to have one left and having one of anything left in your inventory is just really a pain because you don't want to tr throw it away because you might need it later on you might be one short but it's pointless to keep because you're not going to use it in the near future let's use up the black wool anyway and um yeah have a bit of color variation in my wires there we go some aluminium wire so now I need to um set this up here make some kind of nice machiney looking setup oh my iron blocks actually they look like machiney things I can um, throw them down to make the place look more mechanical and cool um let's grab one in here no, get out of my inventory dirt you're not welcome we had this discussion already yeah this block will make my generator look more like a generator and less like a piece of crap on the floor. Um, where can I put it? Over here maybe? Yeah. And on top of that, stick a bit of wire. Oops, what am I doing? And then on top of that wire, I can put, yeah. There, that looks like some kind of coal machine, I think. I'll stick some cobblestone underneath each side. Perfect, okay, that's generator number one. And I'll build similar ones in um, that style, just to fill up the place. I need switches as well, so we can turn the place on. To activate the um, generators, I'll stick one over there and one over here. And now I need something for them to power. Okay, now we're at the tricky junction. What exactly am I going to power with my power plant? Not that the power plant is finished, but I'll build the walls in between videos, so um, I won't bore you with me cooking up all that stone brick and everything in between 
my recordings. I promise I won't cheat it in, by the way. <laughs> um, I, w I will obtain it through natural means. Because a building built out of cheating is a building not worth living in. Although I'm not going to live in the power plant, actually. Um, I'm just going to use it to provide cheap electricity to the testificates. I say cheap, I mean relatively cheap. Um, not free, anyway. Okay, so what was I going to do? I was going to look up a machine to build. I think what I actually need here to repopulate the town is some kind of spawner. And I think I can build a spawner here. I can build an auto spawner out of magma cream emeralds and factory machine blocks and nether wart. Okay, so I'll need to go to the nether for that. But there's a goal. There's a machine for me to build. Um an auto spawner and I think I also need a grinder to fuel that this that is grinder the machine for uh, grinding up things not grinder the um, gay sex app for your phone let's see that needs a golden sword a book and a piston because people make that mistake in minecraft all the time and both parties end up very disappointed let me tell you um yeah, that's not too hard to build. Maybe I can build the grinder now. Plastic sheets, factory machine block. Basically what it's telling me is I need to go get some rubber to make some plastic. Because that seems to be the main ingredient for what I'm trying to do. So let's go cut down some rubber trees. Get some raw rubber. And then melt it down into things. I'm not sure where we'll find a rubber tree. It kind of looks very like jungle wood. So... The jungle is probably the worst place to look for it because it'll just blend in with all the other trees. I'm going to have to see what's beyond the jungle. I'll go through to the other side and um, see what exotic lands await. Oh no, I stepped on one of those things again. Okay, a desert. Right. Uh, let's keep going anyway. There's got to be some rubber trees somewhere. Not in the desert, maybe north of it or something. I haven't been up this way before. This will all be completely new. Oh look, there's a slime island coming into view on my map. Oh, nearly fell in there. That would not have been nice. No. Um, I, I won't be doing that today. Right, so here's the desert. Um, stretching off in every direction. I haven't got a horse with no name, unfortunately. Or this would be a lot more um, artistic and stuff. But um, maybe next time. I've got to find a horse first. Maybe I can find a horse and not name him and ride him through it on the way back. Oh, I think I see some trees coming into view on my mini-map. Up at the top right. I think it might just be the jungle again. I might just be looping back around to it. Ouch. That would have wrecked my knees. Um... Let's see. Oh, I think I need some carrots as well. I'm starting to get dehydrated and hungry under the desert sun. And everyone knows carrots are the ultimate desert food. Or dessert food. One of those. Carrot cake. That's a weird thing, isn't it? I mean, I've never had it, but it just seems really wrong that you would have carrot in a cake for dessert. I mean, it sounds like salmon mousse, like something you'd have as a main course. But that is also really weird. Because salmon mousse, that's really weird. That's even weirder than carrot cake. Any any kind of meat made into a mousse. No, I'll have none of that. That It's just weird. It's not how meat should be consumed. Anything that that's presented in mousse format should be suitable to eat with ice cream. That's the rule. If you have a food that you can't eat with ice cream, don't make a mousse from it. Because it'll just lead to confusion and disappointment. Look at that, a little island covered in sheep. Oh, it's a peninsula. The peninsula of sheep. The wool peninsula. Looks like a nice little place. And there's some sort of obsidian thingy over here. Those blocks look kind of cool. It's not regular obsidian. They look kind of decorative. They've got a kind of weird design on them. It's probably some sort of ancient landmark built by a civilization a long time ago, like a precious part of our heritage. So I'm going to mine it and bring it home in pieces to put up in the town. 
Of course. Ah, what the hell happened there? Oh, it exploded into essence. Okay, um, I don't know what essence does. It's probably really useful. But I, I just want the obsidian, to be honest. Can I break more of it? Oh, yeah, I can break the whole thing down. And I've got that cool obsidian block with a face on it. I've got these other obsidian blocks. Oh, there's another one underground. How deep does it go? This could be like the spire at the top of some mighty cathedral that's been buried for hundreds of years. Or it could just be a bunch of rocks stacked up on top of each other. Okay, um, what have I got? Obsidian totems, obsidian tiles, and obsidian. Right. Now. I still don't see any rubber wood. Ah, there's a forest. No, it's a jungle. Oh my god, it's a jungle again. There's just jungle everywhere. I mean, oh. I, I know when Guns and Roses were saying welcome to the jungle, you know, they made it sound like a really nice place, but I'm a little bit sick of it. I think I've been to the jungle and I'm a little tired of it now, and I'd very much like to find a normal forest. I think I see a rubber th tree over there, actually. Hang on. Take this, jungle. That's what you get. For disappointing me. That looks like a rubber tree over there. Look at the green leaves on it. Yeah, the old, uh, rubberous triacus. Chopicus. Um, oh, and it's got some quicksand next to it. I have to be very careful about that. It's surrounded by quicksand. Oh, no. Is it quicksand or regular sand? Is it moving at its own comfortable pace? Okay, I think, yeah. Oh no! Oh no, the quicksand's eating my rubber! Get back here, you! It's mine! Mine! Am I picking it up? I'm not, my inventory's full. Uh, get rid of the sticks. Oh crap, I, I still didn't pick it up. There, rubber. Perfect. I don't need too much of it. Uh, oh, there's a little bit up here as well. Great. Maybe I should get some saplings as well while I'm here. Do I? Did I pick up any saplings? No. Oh crap, creeper! Um. Okay, maybe he can blow up this rubber tree and get me a few saplings. Now let's get rid of this essence anyway. There has to be a sapling around here somewhere. Oh, he's stuck. He's blown up the quicksand. Perfect. Uh, any treasures underneath it? No. Nothing. Just crap. Uh, okay. I'm going to very quickly cut down this tree and then I'm going to run home with great speed to the safety of my bed. Come on, come on, come on. Chop faster, chop faster. Okay, there we go. Again, no saplings. That's a little bit weird. That's almost suspicious. I mean, there should be saplings. Oh, there, there's one. Rubber sapling. Great, I'll have a few closer to home now when I plant that. So, let's get out of here. Ah, so I'm going to run home now anyway. Just uh, charge back to base at full speed. And I think I'll wrap up the video as I do that. Uh, next time, I suppose we'll continue construction of the power plant. We'll build our spawner, we'll build our grinder, we'll build all those crazy tools that we need. Tools and machines, we'll... Um, get our testificates uh, populating the village once more and we'll enter our second golden age. It'll be like at the end of Transformers, you know, the episode The Re Rebirth, where Cybertron enters its golden age and literally turns to gold. We're going to have some of that. The town is literally just going to turn into like a big golden paradise. And um, you're all invited to come visit. So, um... Yeah, that's enough for me for today. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.